Good evening, Isaac and Alba. Good evening. Yeah. How are you doing? Alba, can you hear me? Karen, welcome. Hello, good evening. How's it going? Is everything okay? Yes, no. Where are the rest of your classmates? Let me check. Okay. Alba is connecting again. Alba, does your microphone work? Yes. Yes, okay, excellent. Hello. Okay, it's good to hear you. How was your day today? Very busy, but busy. it's good. A lot of work? Yes. Ah. Because the middle of the, the office uh, have COVID. My goodness. Yes. <laughs> half so we have office. a lot of work. Huh? Half of the office. Ah, uh, yes, the half. The half of the the personal of the office, no? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Have COVID. Wow. That's a big problem. Yes. <laughs> and how many are how many um workers are there now? Uh, around 40. 40? Yes. Okay. So that's a big company. <laughs> a lot of people. More or less, yes. Yeah. Well, but you are okay. That's important. Mm, I hope With so. <laughs> God willing, because, God willing. Because we are waiting for the more proofs. Ah, you're going to you are going to take the test. And the test, yes. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope the results. Well, <laughs> they're negative, right? Yes, okay. I hope the same. <laughs> okay. Uh, we're going to uh, get started in a moment. Let me check. Yeah, it's about time. So thank you for being here. It is nice to be with you again. Um, okay, somebody's not listening to me. Karen. So maybe you can check uh, what well, I'm going to write in the... Wait, somebody wrote in the group, I think. I'm going to write in the chat. Try with the headphones. Okay. Um, so Karen Heyman can you can try with the headphones. Maybe that's the problem. And the rest, welcome. I see Miguel, Glenda, Veronica, Teresa. Margarita and Gabriela. Okay, my day is already connected to. Excellent. Let's get started. Okay, so um, what do you remember about yesterday's class? Uh, hmm. We talk about professions. Uh -huh. And what we do? Correct. We practice that, and uh, practice. Uh -huh. And we also classified some different jobs. Okay. Ah, yes, yeah, the hamburger heaven. Mm -hmm, exactly, and then that was the conversation that we practiced. Actually, right now we are going to practice a conversation hamburger heaven. 
That was something that I told you yesterday that we were going to practice at the beginning of the class. Okay, so I am going to share the screen with the conversation and then we are going to start. Okay, so here we go. This is the conversation and I need two volunteers to, to start the conversation. Okay, remember the pronunciation of some keywords. For example, we have the word guide. Okay, guide is one. Uh, south, that's another word that sometimes is confusing. South. Um, well, restaurant, I don't think it's complicated. And well, Peru, that's a country that's not really difficult. And that's it. I think that there's not another one that can be complicated. Okay, so two volunteers who want to practice the conversation. Hamburger heaven. Okay, Soveda and thank you, Soveda. Meet the chair. And Sonia, great. So Soveda, you were going to be Jason and Sonia, you're going to be Andrea. In this case, you can change the question. I mean, you can change the name, right? Where do you work? And then you say uh, Sonia, right? Uh, or where, well, in this case, yeah. Um, and then you continue with the conversation. Ready, set, go. Okay. Where do you work, Sonia? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you there? I'm a guy. I take the people on tours to countries in South. South America. American for you. Uh -huh. Sorry. No problem. How interesting. Yes, it's a great hope. I love it, and what do you do? I'm a student, and I have a part-time job, too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. With restaurant? Hamburg Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, excellent. Thank you so much, ladies. Claps for you, and now we continue with the next two. Okay, so we already listened to Soveda and Sonia. Who's next? I underline the word travel here, travel. That's another word. Um, I think Anna Maria was having some problems with Zoom. So maybe with that link that they shared the last time, she can enter. Okay, so I am going to select the volunteers. Um, Gabriela, are you there? Yes. Yes, okay. Yes. And Ana Maria is here, excellent. So Gabriela and Ana Maria, thank you. Okay. So Gab Gabriela, you start the conversation and Ana Maria, you continue. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Co. Travel. Oh, really? That's, do you do there? What do you do there? Uh -huh. I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburg hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven, that's correct. Thank you so much. Congrats. Really, really Thanks. nice. So because of time, we're just going to listen to one more pair of students. So who are the last two volunteers to practice the conversation? Let me see, somebody who's raising the hand or use a reaction. Miguel, 
And who wants to practice with Miguel? Okay, let me see. Somebody who hasn't participated will be Veronica, are you there? Okay, yes, perfect. Yes. I've read your mind. Okay. So, Miguel, you start the conversation and Veronica, you continue. Okay. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas School Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guide. I take people of third to country in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. How interesting. Yes, it's a great job. I love it. And what do you do? I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Oh, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Hamburger Heaven. There you go. Excellent. Thank you so much, uh, Miguel and Veronica. You were the last two volunteers for this conversation. Okay, for the rest of your classmates, don't worry, you're going to have more opportunities in today's session. Now we are going to move on, okay? Um, time flies, so we have to fly too. And the, the next part is a little explanation about the WH questions and statements, okay? And statements. So this is very important because you have to see the difference between um, using, wait a second, I hear some noise. Okay, so uh, the difference between the auxiliary verb do and auxiliary verb does, okay? In the questions and the answers, when we modify the verb and when we don't modify the verb. So, uh, let me check. I'm going to ask Elena, can you please read the first three questions? And the answer will be, uh, the volunteer will be Milena, okay? So Elena and Milena. Elena, you read the question and Milena, you read the answer. Okay. Okay. Okay, teacher. What do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job. Question number two. Next question. Bernie. Yeah, yeah. Next question. Uh, where do you work? I work in a restaurant. Okay. Where do you go to a school? I go to the University of Texas. Very good. I go to the University of Texas. So those are the first three questions. Thank you so much, Elena and Milena. We continue with Yancy and Victoria. Yancy, you ask the question and the questions, and Victoria, you read the answers, please. Okay. Okay. Where does Andrea work? Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. Okay. What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people on tours. Correct. Okay. Who does she like it? How does she like she it? She loves it. She, she loves, loves, it. loves it. Loves it. Loves it. She, she loves it. She loves it. Very good. Thank you, ladies. Okay, so she loves it, right? So we make a connection, a link sound with the um, S. Wait, I'm going to eliminate this symbol with the letter S and the letter I, right? So we say loves it. Okay, so we have the link here. 
And then, as you can see, there is a, a little difference, right? In the first three questions and the next three questions. So the difference here is that we are talking about the third person singular. This is not complicated, okay? Something that you have to be memorizing a lot of rules. No, uh, it's as simple as this. So with the, we have, for example, I, you, he, she, it, we, and they, let's say. We have uh, these basic pronouns. So when we use I, okay, speaking of question, speaking of questions. So we say, do I, do you, does he, she, or it, do we, and do they. So we use the auxiliary do with the majority of the pronouns, except for he, she, and it. So uh, these three, he, she, and it, are the, the exceptions because they are part of the third person singular. So we modify the auxiliary. Now, what happens in the statements, in the affirmative sentences? For he, she, and it, we are going to add the letter S or the letters ES. And we have examples here. I need one volunteer and the volunteer will be, let me check, Margarita. Margarita, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay. Can you repeat, please? Okay, so you are going to help me read the verbs that appear here. Okay. So, okay, okay. work, works, take, takes, like that. Okay, work, works, take, takes, study, studies, study, teach, study, studies, uh -huh. studies, teach, Teaches, yes, do, does, does, go, goes, goes, goes have, has. has. Correct. Excellent. So if you see, there is a little modification there. Okay. In the yes. majority of the verbs, we use S, but in some cases, we use ES. Okay. Okay. So, uh, That's right. You have to be careful when you're using the affirmative. In the negative, is different. For example, how do you say um, el profesor no habla francés in English? How do you say that? Any volunteer? The teacher no is not speak French. I think that Francis. we don't. Don't. He doesn't speak French. Dance. Teacher, Teacher doesn't speak French. French. Does not. Uh -huh. Does French. not. French. Teacher doesn't speak okay, French. Okay, so we can use the, the normal form that is does not or the contraction doesn't. 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 Uh -huh. The teacher doesn't speak French. Okay. In the past, yes, I spoke a little French. In the present, I don't remember. Okay, um, so if you see in the negative, we modify the auxiliary. We say does not or doesn't. And the verb is in the normal form, no modification. So for the negative, we modify the auxiliary, not the verb. Okay, the teacher doesn't speak French. Okay, in the question, we don't modify, we don't change the verb, we only change the auxiliary. So, for example, how do you ask the question? Um, Tiene tu hermana eh, un trabajo? 
How do you say, tiene tu hermana un trabajo? How do you ask that question? Does your, does your daughter has a work? Tu hermana. Does your sister, sister, your sister. does your sister has a job? Has, has or a job. have? Has, has or have? Has. Have. Sorry. Have. Have. Have, have a job. Why? No modification because we have the auxiliary does. So in the question and the negative, no modification for the verb. Only in the affirmative. Okay. Only in the affirmative. Okay. So does your sister have a job? And you can say, yes, she has yes. a job. Yes, she have a job. Or negative. No, she doesn't have a job. So you see, those are the three forms, the question, affirmative and negative. No, she doesn't have a job. And it's the same rule for the three different pronouns, he, she, and it, okay? So uh, now that we already talked about the rules and the examples, we are going to complete the exercise letter A, conversation one and conversation two, okay? So please take a screenshot, take a screenshot because you are going to practice with your classmates in the breakout room. Okay, let me know when you finish. We are ready. Ready, Freddy. Okay. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms in a moment. Let me check. Okay. Do you have questions about the rules, about the examples, about the exceptions? Yes or no? Oh, teacher, no. Have no. Very smart students I have. So I am going to send you to the breakout rooms right now. And then when you finish the exercise, you practice the conversation, okay? Because you have A, B, A, B, A, B, okay? If you have time, if you have time, I am going to give you six minutes, okay? To complete this exercise. You don't have to copy all the conversation, only copy the the words that are missing in the in the spaces right in the blanks okay so here we go three two one see you in six minutes accept the invitation now Okay, excellent. Everybody's going to the break of rooms. Margarita, Isaac, Kevin, and Teresa. I said the invitation. Nice. Kevin and Teresa. Are you there? Kevin Hernandez, Teresa Chavez. Okay, Kevin, you are the only one missing right now. Perfect. Eh, no lo entendí mucho qué es lo que teníamos que hacer. Okay, let's go uh, reading the exercise A, complete this conversation, then practice further. Correct. <laughs> Usuario de Zoom. You need to modify your name. Okay, I need to modify. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Okay, so yeah. yes, you are going to complete the conversations. Excellent. Um, I don't know if you have, if you copied, if you took the screenshot. Yes. 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 Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to stop sharing. Okay. So if you need help, let me know. Okay. I will come back in a moment. Okay. Thank you very much. Um, I'm a full time attendant. I started the violin. <laughs> Uh, 
And where do you go to school? Mm -hmm. Right. I I have a hold. I agree. Mm-hmm. And hello, teacher. Hello. Teacher, ¿verdad que teníamos que completar las oraciones con las de you, con las, con las mar, marcas que están arriba, a la derecha? Ok, you are, you are going to complete the conversation with the correct verb, with the correct auxiliary, ok, with the correct words. For example, I'm a full-time student, I study the violin, and do you to school? Ok. Look at the examples. Where do you go um, to school? Okay. Where and go. Where do you go to school? I to the New York School of Music. I I go, go. to uh -huh. the New correct. York School of that's, Music. That's correct. Uh -huh. So you are going to complete the conversations with the correct words. Okay. And this is area. Wow. What do you like your classes? How? How I? How do you like your classes? Yes. How do you like your classes? Excellent. I have. And what about he... Ryan? Ah, me me salté. And what about Ryan? Where, 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 where does he work? Yeah. Where does he work? Correct. Where does he work? He works. He works. He works. Uh -huh. And what do you, where do you go to? This, what? Where, where, uh -huh. do you, where do you go to school? Where do you go to school? Excellent. Where do you go to school? I go to the, to the New York School of Music. Wow. How do you like your classes? I like them a lot. I like them a mm -hmm. lot. What does Tanya do? O hacen, porque las mujeres las hacen. He makes. Ajá, makes. Con S, ¿verdad? Ajá. Podría ser. Porque has es como el tiempo. What is the sentence that you are completing? B on the last one. Okay, he's a website designer. He, he has or he makes. He, let me check. Él tiene o él has fantastic website. Well, you can you can say uh, he has or he makes. Con tal que tenga, tenga sentido, that's okay. No problem. Okay. Thank okay. You. He makes <clears throat> fantastic website. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Yeah, you can say he makes or he creates. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I have open a lot. I, I love them, tal vez me encantan mucho, me gustan mucho, no sé. I like I, them a lot or mm -hmm. I love them a lot. It's okay. Both. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love them a lot. Very good. Almost finished. 
Did you finish, ladies? Yes, yes teacher. Okay, perfect. So I'm going to call everybody back to the session in some seconds. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Let me just check one more. Elena and my dad. What? Estamos mal. Hello. Why? What happened? Oh. <laughs> Estamos en la, en la dos. Estamos un poco perdida. Conversation two. What does Tanya do? Ah, ah yo decía que era bien. Ajá. What does Tania do? Ajá, the auxiliary. What does Tania do? She's a teacher. She. What does. Ajá, esa era. Es que esa es la que combinaba. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, sometimes it makes sense. Eso, es, eso se le llama como que, que tenga sentido, ok? Ajá, exacto. Uno busca. Como, suena, suena bien, ajá, suena, suena correcto. Ajá, so that's... Ajá, Por la conversación, eh, as... Uh -huh. After. Correct. She, she have. She. No, she have. She teaches. She have an art class. Teacher, she. Or she has. She, uh -huh. You can say she has an art class at school in Denver. Yes. Mm -hmm. She has. No puedo creerlo, lo hice bien. Yes. <laughs> Practice makes progress okay so <laughs> i will see you in a moment to check the answers all right now let's continue um with the answers so it's time to check in this case uh, was it difficult or easy for you to complete this exercise like this. What does sort of mean? sort of difficult? More or less. More or less. less. Just a little. a little difficult. Just a little. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to move on, and it's time to check number one. Uh, what do you do? I'm a full-time student. I study the violin, and. Where do you go? Where to school? do you go to yeah, school? To school. Where do you go to school? Okay. Don't forget to change the name. Okay. To change your name. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> where do you go to school? I go. You can actually. I go to the class. New Year's. Correct. I go to the New York School of Music. Okay, New York School of Music. Wow. What is the How do you like your classes? How do you like your How classes? How do you like your classes? Yes, correct. How do you like your classes? And then you answer? I, I love, like them a lot. I like them a lot. Or I love them a lot. Yes. Okay. Sometimes more than one answer is possible. Okay. Alguna veces más de una respuesta es correcta. So, I love them a lot. I like them a lot. It's okay. Uh, I like English. I love English. Number two. What does, 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 what does, does Tanya do? What do. does Tanya do? And you are like, teacher, but does and do? Yes, does is the auxiliary and do is the principal or the main verb, right? Okay. So, letter B. She's a teacher. She's a teacher. She, she works. She teaches works. and no. art class. She works. She works on mm, art class. She teaches. She teaches. She teaches. Can be uh -huh, more correct, more appropriate in this case. She teaches an art class at a school in Denver. Yes. 
Or you can say class. she has an art class at a school in Denver. Both make sense. Ambas tienen sentido, right? She has or she teaches an art class. Number, well, let's continue. And what about Ryan? Where? Where does he work? Where does he work? Where? He? He works. Works. For a big computer company in San Francisco. In San Francisco. Uh-huh. Continue. What does he do exactly? What does he do exactly? He's a website designer. A designer. He? He, he does a fantastic website. Oh, website. Okay, so you can say he creates, right? Uh, he, creates. he creates fantastic websites or he has oh, fantastic he makes? websites. He, he, makes, he makes fantastic websites, correct. So those are the, the answers for this conversation, okay? So we are going to continue um, because of time with the next conversation. So um, I start work at five, okay? I start work at five. Okay, listen and repeat. So do you usually come to the gym in the morning? So, oh, do you usually come, come to the gym in the morning? morning? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? Really? What time do you go to work? Do you go to work? Uh huh. Go to. Do you go to work? Okay. Do you go to go to work? Go, go to, work. to work. Correct. Go to work. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? When do you get go home at night? When do you get home at night? When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. I usually get home at midnight. I usually get home at midnight. Okay, midnight. Midnight? That is late. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I'm a, right? I'm a TV announcer. I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. Oh, oh you're Helen, Helen Black. Black. I, I love, love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. By the way. By the way, I'm Daniel. How do you translate by the way? Sin embargo. Mm, no. No. Por cierto. Por cierto, por right? Cierto. By the way. Okay, no es por el camino. Okay. Uh, por cierto, right? Por cierto, soy Daniel. Okay, by the way. Um, my name is Freddy. Okay, for the new students. <laughs> now, we're going to continue and um, you are going to practice this conversation in purse, okay, in purse. So, uh, take a screenshot quickly, um, pay attention to specific words, right? For example, uh, midnight, right? That's a pronunciation, midnight. Exactly, okay, exactly. That's another word. Okay, exactly, midnight. And um, announcer, that's another word that maybe you have some issues with. Announcer, weather report, weather report. Recognize, recognize, okay, recognize. And I think that's all, okay? That's, there's nothing else that is a little difficult. Okay, so do uh, you usually, usually, okay, that's another word, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Okay, so um, 
that's it. Now I am going to send you to the breakout room. In this case, I am going to check that everybody, yeah, we still have the, the complete students. So excellent. We have 10 breakout rooms. For this conversation, you are just going to have maximum four minutes, but I think that in three minutes you will finish. Don't forget that you have to play the two roles, first as Danielle and then as Helen, right? Ready, set, and go. When we come back, I am going to ask for two volunteers, okay? Two different um, pairs of students to practice the conversation. Here we go. Okay, accept the invitation to join the breakout room. We are just missing Kevin and Teresa. Okay, Kevin is in the breakout room now. Teresa. Miss Chavez, are you there? Hi, Hi Milena. <laughs> okay. I'm alone here. You were alone, <laughs> I know. Now I'm here. So, do you want to start the conversation? Yes. Yes. I'm ready. Okay. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on Kian TV. Don't you recognize me? I do the weather, weather report. Weather. Uh -huh. I do the weather report on KNTB. Okay. KNTB. Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay. okay. Now we now switch. I'm Daniel. Yeah. So, do you just usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, what's late? That's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you do exactly? I'm a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are Helen Black. I love your show. By the way, I'm Daniel. Okay, nice to meet you, Daniel. Now, that's the conversation. Excellent. Uh, yeah, do, you have, sure. do you have any questions about vocabulary or pronunciation? I don't have any questions. Excellent. Thank you so much, Lena. It was nice practicing with you. Yeah, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Let's go back. Now I see your name, Rodrigo. Okay, excellent. Now we continue with the volunteers. Did you finish the conversation? You can use a reaction like yes, thumbs up. Finish. Yes, okay. Or it can be like, nope. It was too yeah. fast, teacher. Okay, fast and furious. Now we're going to uh, practice, okay, two volunteers, so we need Elias and Loida, excellent. And then we continue with Rodrigo and somebody else. Okay, so Elias and Loida, welcome, by the way. 
I'm going to share the screen We're, so you can see the conversation. Elias, you are Daniel, and Loida, you are Helen, okay? Okay. Uh, pronunciation, just in case you didn't listen to the repetition, right? Uh, we said some specific words. We mentioned some specific words, for example, usually, that was the first one, usually uh, midnight, Midnight, um, exactly, exactly. Nice. Announcer, TV announcer, uh, weather, weather report, weather report, and recognize with the sound Z at the end. Don't you recognize mm -hmm. me? Okay, so um, yeah. one, two, three, action. So, do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What time do you go to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight, that is late. What do you go exactly? I am, a, I am a TV announcer. I do the weather report on KNTV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you're Helen Black. I love your... Ciao, bye. By the way, by the way, I'm Daniel. Excellent, very good. Class for them, please. Reactions. We're going to use the tada right now. And we continue with the next two volunteers. So Rodrigo Mejia and who is the next volunteer? And Miguel Navarro. Okay, perfect. So uh, Rodrigo, you, you are Daniel and Miguel, you are Helen. Okay, so do you do you usually come to the gym in the morning? Yeah, I do. Really? What do you go to to work? I work in the afternoon. I start work at five. Wow, that's late. When do you get home at night? I usually get home at midnight. Midnight? That is late. What do you do exactly? I'm TV announcer. I do the weather report on KN TV. Don't you recognize me? Oh, you are a Miguel Navarro. I love it. You know. By the okay. way, I'm Rodrigo. I'm Rodrigo. Okay, the famous Miguel Navarro. How is that possible? You didn't <laughs> recognize him. Okay. Hello, Rodrigo. Excellent. Class for them, please. And now we continue with the next part. So I'm going to give you a thumbs up. Uh, for the next activity, uh, we have a little explanation. And the volunteer is Ana Maria. So Ana Maria, can you please help us read the sentences that appear here in the examples? Time expressions. Read three. Three sentences, please. I get up at uh, seven in the morning on weekend week weekdays. Weekdays. Uh huh. Number two. I go to bed around around then in the evening on weeknight. Three. I I leave work early in the afternoon on weekend. On weekends. Thank you so much, Ana Maria. Now we continue with the next volunteer that I'm going to select. And the volunteer is Kevin. I get home late at night okay. on Fridays. Are you there? Fridays. Okay. I stay up. Uh -huh. Oh, we got Karen. Okay. So Karen, go ahead. I stay up until midnight. Until midnight on Saturdays. 
I wake, wake up. Wake up before afternoon on Sundays. On Sunday. Before noon or afternoon on Sundays. Before noon, okay. eh, that would be antes del mediodía. Afternoon, sería después del mediodía, right? Okay. okay. So uh, here we have the, and the, we have expressions, expressing clock time. Okay. So Kevin, can you please read the, the expressions that we have here? Hi, teacher. Hello. The expression clock time. Yep. Seven. Seven. Seven o'clock. Uh -huh. Seven in the morning. That would be 7 a.m., mm -hmm. right? 7 a.m. or 7 in the morning. 7, 7 a.m. is in the morning. Uh -huh. And 7 p.m. 7 is in, in the, the evening. 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 Okay, correct. Yeah. Seven in the evening or seven in the morning, right? Now, um, raise your hand if you are an early bird. Raise your hand if you are an early bird. I'm going to copy that in on the on the screen. Early bird, and we have night owl. Okay. Early bird uh, is a person who wakes up early every morning, every day. And night owl is a person that goes to sleep late at night. Okay. So early bird is typically the people who, who like to wake up early in the morning. And night owl is the people who normally go to bed late at night. So raise your hand if you are an early bird. Levanten la mano los que son los madrugadores. Okay. Aunque sea la fuerza. <laughs> okay, let me see how many participants we have. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, a lot of people. Gabriela, Jancy, Maide, Karen, Rodrigo. Alba, Elena, and Ana Maria, Victoria, Elias too, Isaac, Miguel. Okay. And raise your hand. Now lower your hand. Manos abajo. Raise your hand if you are a night owl. If you are like Batman. Okay. Who usually go to bed late. Aquellos que normalmente se van a dormir noche. Son nocturnos, like me. Okay, Gabriela, Loida, Victoria, Sobeida, Alba. Okay, Maide. Probablemente hay más, pero como tienen que levantar temprano, se acuestan más temprano. So, yes, that's life. <laughs> okay, now we're going to continue and we are going to complete this exercise together. Okay, together. So, number one, I get up. What do you think is the correct expression here? I get up. At, at six. I am. At six. I get up in at the six. Morning. In, in the morning. In the morning. Yes, in the morning. Weekdays. Oh. On, on, on week on week weekdays okay the week. día de la semana right weekdays from monday through friday is the weekdays saturday and sunday is the weekends for us for us for some people friday is also a weekend right okay number two that is correct i go to bed in at around I go to bed at midnight. Uh -huh. At midnight. Oh. On, 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 on week on the nights. Correct. On week nights. Okay. Las noches de los días de semana, right? Uh, on week nights. Okay. Number three. I start work. No start work. Okay. okay. No start work. start work. Okay. I start work. At, at at, at, at 11 
at 11 at 30 in the night in 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 mm, on night. night at night at night at, at night. night at night so we say in the morning at in the afternoon night. in the oh. evening and we say at night okay in the morning in the afternoon in the evening at night okay in the evening i have lunch at what a.m I have lunch at three. At, at at three. At three. At three. In the afternoon. 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 On Fridays. On Fridays. 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 Correct. Mm -hmm. Number five. I stay up at one a.m. At get up. Mm -hmm. at no, I stay up until until one a.m. on weekend on weekends watching Netflix. Okay, I stay up until one a.m. Me quedo despierto hasta la una de la mañana. That's the example, right? Number six. I have a little snack at night. At, at nine on the in the evening in the evening in the evening, in the in the evening. evening. that's correct in the evening hey number seven i sleep i at, uh, around in the sleep in noon nope at, before or after Dermo antes del mediodía. Afternoon. No. Afternoon. Oh, As no. oh. How do you say hasta? Until. Until, until, until noon. Until, until noon. Until. until, 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 until on until. Sundays. Ok. Oh, no, so. Duermo hasta el mediodía los domingos. Ok. I until, sleep until noon until. on Sundays. Correct. So uh, this is the this is the these are the answers for this exercise. You can take a screenshot if you want, in case you want to practice later. And um, on weekends, that's correct. Let me check. I am going to share with you quickly the following link. Wait a second. Wait a second. Okay. So I am going to erase the drawings, select the mouse, structure and phrase, continue. And I will share the link with you quickly to take a little quiz about in, on, at. Okay. So in the chat, you can check right now there is a link. So please open it. And we are going to practice to finish today's class. Ready? Let me share the screen. Very good. So here, we don't know the names. These are anonymous, okay? These are automatically generated names. Son nombres generados automáticamente. Okay, perfect. So we have 10 people, 10 people. Ready, ready, hurry up, hurry up. Just ready. click on the link and enter. Okay, start. It was boring. Maracuya Martinez, who's that? I don't know. Okay, continue. Deal Dracula. 14 okay. students, 14 students. We are missing five, five students more. Ready? Set. Three, two, two. one. And four and five. Let's go.
I live in or at Colombia. Hurry up, hurry up. In, in Colombia. In Colombia, that's correct. Next question, quickly. The date is in at on noon. La cita es al mediodía, at noon. Okay, hurry oh. up, in at on. At noon. Three, two, one, time is up. Okay, the correct answer was at noon. Al mediodía, at noon, at midnight. Okay, I will see you in on at six o'clock. At six o'clock. Okay, three, two, one. Time is up. I see. All right, next question. The meeting is at, in, or on 7.30. The meeting is five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. Okay, we end the question at 7.30, yes, at 7.30. Next question. My birthday is in, on, or at September. In September. In. Five, four, three, two, one. Time is up. So we end the question and we continue with the next one. Okay, next question quickly. He arrives at in on eight o'clock. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. At is the correct answer. Okay, we finish one more, one more because of time. Daniel and Sara leave on, in, at, a neighborhood called Diana Survey. In. In, 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 in. And the correct answer was in, yes. Okay, so because of time, I'm going to go directly to the last question and the test. So, so far we got the leaderboard here with Dracula, Gaji, and Horseman Holmes. We don't know who they were. Okay, no sabemos quiénes eran ellos. Okay, these are, these were secrets. So um, we're going to stop there because of time, but if you have time, I will recommend you to read the, um, the, the article about why do you need a job, okay? Why do you need a job? This is the reading. Okay, if you want to practice tomorrow, we're going to practice a little bit of pronunciation, reading about Teresa, Karen, and Lamar. Okay, so you can take a screenshot if you want to read a little bit at home. 
practice reading out loud, ok? Leer en voz alta es la forma correcta de practicar para aprender y desarrollar más habilidades, ok? Pronunciation, listening, ok? And obviously comprehension. So, that's it for today. Do you have any questions? About the class, about English, about life, about the teacher, whatever you want. Any question? No, teacher. No questions. No. Okay. Clear. clear as coffee. Everything is clear as coffee. As, yeah. a, as espresso coffee. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And I will see you tomorrow, okay? See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Okay, bye-bye. See you Take tomorrow. Care. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.